Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm well. This morning, there's one thing on my heart and it's racism. A few weeks ago, I saw this video of this Nigerian lady who had been racially abused by a worker of this German discounter shop. So apparently she had gone grocery shopping after taking her kids to kindergarten and the worker's behavior was to throw the money, like her change on the floor for whatever reason. She didn't know the reason and she was just hurt. And the first thing that came to mind was if she could speak the German language, that hurt would have, and that pain would have been less. Imagine she was in an English speaking country. She would have felt, you know, hurt. She would have, you know, retaliated. She would have expressed herself. And that really broke my heart for her. But it goes, okay, I have, let me just say three points. Number one, learning the German language. I don't know how long she's been here for, but definitely more than six months. So learning the German language is essential to your day-to-day -day life in Germany. Of course, maybe six months is not enough. You have so much going on. Some of us, we come here, we are traumatized. We don't even have the head for school. You get it. But this is just something that shows us that. So if she could have voiced her feelings, that pain in her voice that you could hear would have been less, obviously. Because me, when you give it to me, it goes bad, finish. And I don't even take the pain to my house. I leave it there with you. Number two... When racism happens or racist encounters happen, I, in my case, what I do is I look at the person. Some people, they are just miserable people. And even without racism, they will still have disrespected you. Such people don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. But people who you, should, who you know should, like you can tell they should know better, you tell them off. Sometimes you don't even have to tell them off. You have to like show them that, hey, what I have up here is beyond the sea or shenanigans that you're doing. But one thing is I've learned not to go out expecting racism because it also puts a certain pressure on me. Every time I'm looking at my, who's going to be racist to me today, who's going to be racist to me tomorrow. So for our own mental health, I would say that try to go out as positive and as free as possible because that is the effect on racism. If they're able to discriminate you and have you looking at yourself like they are going to attack me they have won do not let them win go out enjoy your life and expect positive things to happen to you and if they have if the, the racist people attack you give it to them those bars okay so still yeah just stay 